Just going into the quarterfinal against England, warning shots have already been fired. Big statement made, Fiji almost beating England. And the statement is the learnings coming from there that we can do even better than quarterfinals. What's, what's your message to the people about that? Like I said earlier, Vijay, numbers don't lie. So the stats that came out of the tournament after our competition at quarterfinal level, we've, done, we've looked at all the positives. We've looked at the potential of what Fiji can do. But this is the thing we need to improve on. When you look at the errors made for all the teams in the World Cup, how many teams are there? 16 teams? 20 teams? The highest errors were made by the Chile team in the whole competition. Number two was Fiji. Error rates. So if we can minimize our error rate by just, say, 20%, 30% over an entire campaign of, in a tournament, I think we, we have chances to actually progress further. Just our error rates. Now, when you look, that's 15s, that's flying Fijians. When you look at the, the, the sevens on the seven series, Fiji traditionally is in that top five bracket. Now, back to 2021, uh, when we were preparing for the Tokyo Olympics, now we changed that. We, we, our errors were way lower. Penalties against Fijians was way lower. This season, I think um, I'll mention that, why we competed well against the tier ones, our, our penalties were way lower. Uh, it was below 10, and the coaches had that. That is part of our values, discipline. If we can get our penalties in a game less than 10, like single digits, we stand a high chance of, of, of winning a game. Uh, and that's discipline and penalties. But in terms of error rate, so that comes to focus and paying attention. That comes to habits. That comes to how we coach the players to execute skill with good habits. Um, so minimizing our mistakes. Having said that, our, our game profile, we are high-risk rugby anyway. That's a given. We live and die by the sword. I remember Ben Ryan used to say that. Our game is free flow, high tempo, offloading game. That's fine. But if we can minimize some of those errors that we, we, we commit because of just loss of concentration. Why? Because probably we didn't hydrate well enough because I'm in a dehydrated state. Or I didn't accumulate my sleep mileage over the week. Or because I ate foods or drank fluids that I was not supposed to. Now, those are all the controllables that leads to our errors chart. Most players don't understand this. Our goal is to actually educate them on that, which we have, but I think we need to do more of. And once our players can see that and make habitual changes in lifestyle and, and just how they prepare as an athlete, like I said, you can only imagine what we can achieve.